Did you see Mr. Mr. Bud himself? In yeah, I've seen him in Ireland two or three times. Can you narrow it down for us? Where specifically you saw him? Sorry? Where, where specifically did you see him? I've seen him in the Dublin area and in another area in Ireland as well. In Dublin and another area? Yeah. Which other area? Limerick. Limerick. Mm -hmm. And according to, you mentioned about Limerick, a lot of extremists living there? Yeah, there's a lot of them living in Limerick City. They said that they moved there because the rent was a lot cheaper in Limerick and, you know, the clear kind of area, areas, areas, and Tipperary, it's a lot cheaper to rent there. So we were getting like four and five bedroom houses, but there was only like one, two guys going there. So I don't know what they had for that reason. Was. What was Mr. Buck doing here? He was there visiting people at talks. Did he speak at any of the mosques in Dublin? Did I? Did, no, did he speak at any of the mosques? No, nothing I'm aware of. How long did he live here for? He stayed here for a couple of weeks on and off. So he wasn't living here continuously at any stage, was no, he? No, nothing I'm aware of. Okay. He travelled in and out to the UK a lot. And would he have been staying in both Dublin and Limerick when he was here? Yeah, I don't know he was definitely staying in Dublin and staying in the house he stayed in. Uh, how many extremists do you think are living in Ireland? There's definitely more than 150, I would easily say. 150? Yeah, easily. And do you know whereabouts in Ireland they are? Yeah, I know there's some areas that I overheard our conversations and I know that um, properties in some places that they, that they took. And have you spoken to the Gardaí? No, I haven't been in contact with them about that. She, you spoke to the immigration? Yeah, I spoke to I've contacted immigration before about that. Because I know a lot of them came here to apply for visas and stuff like that. That's what mainly I was told in the first place. 